take a closer look at the shoe. I like did. Please stay tuned for more. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the unboxing of Nike Romelios 2. These shoes are strictly for weightlifting, usually seen in the gym or in competitions, especially with the Olympics coming up. You might see professional weightlifters wear some Nike Romelios. I decided to get a pair of weightlifting shoes as I am transitioning to be more well-rounded to lift all sorts of weights with different muscle groups. Mainly the uses of this shoe are for core workouts like squats, deadlifts, clean and jerk, other Olympic lifts. My favorite is probably the front squats and deadlifts. Now these shoes are to provide the best support to give maximum strength in your workout. I never worn these shoes before, but I'm looking to see if they do improve my mobility, technique, and power in future videos. I've been using the Reebok Zig for about 5 years now, and these were seen commercially advertised by Sidney Crosby. And he also won another hockey championship this year and with the Pittsburgh Penguins. And I honestly think these shoes are great shoes. I wore them for all activities like hiking, running, going to the gym, lifting, and they feel great versus when I wore the Air Force Ones and Nike Pro Steppers and even Nike Shocks that were actually harder on the heel of my feet when I was lifting. I didn't get the support and the technical feeling like I did with these Reebok shoes. That was supposed to have some Zig technology where it says Zig Tech right there. And the biggest drawbacks was that the little pebbles would get stuck in these little wedges or waves of the Zig. And you can see the damages I put on this shoe, all the scrapes, abrasions and everything on the ridges. And also on the inside, I don't know if you can clearly see, but I actually wore them out pretty well. There's a lot of foam that's missing. But overall, like these are like simple shoes that I just wore for going to gym and daily uses and whatnot, outdoor activities. But again, like I did transition into other shoes. Like I just wore these the other day for a full day. And these shoes are supposed to be a lot lighter than the Nike Romelios because these are fly knit. And these are made for running. And when I wore them out for one day, as you can see this shoe for running, I noticed that it has a higher heel. I was standing more uh, slightly forward to have be in more forward positions. So that's more optimal for running. And these are super light. Like in my other video, I think I said they were about less than one pound. And these shoes, I think, are more sturdily built, the Romelios. So I think they're a lot heavier. Now, with these shoes, I hope they're not going to be like the fly knits because they're made for running. So I hope these are more swiftly more flat and sturdy. So the first thing that when we see when we open this this box is the platforms, and these say they're. Firm 90 Shore Sock Liner they're for weightlifting. I think these are for like when they're pretty sturdy. So I think these are more for like when you're in competitions or whatnot. Uh, but we'll see if there's any extra ones. So this is the first look. And I did get the highlight yellow or volt color on, as shown on the website. They don't have much variety on the Nike website. There was only like black, white, and highlight yellow or Volt. Uh, there are a lot of varieties like red, orange, and blue. Uh, I, I think this was most appealing to me. I've seen some in real life when other guys wore the black and white ones. I didn't think they were as appealing. But this yellow highlight does strike to me. You can see the big black swoosh right in the middle. It's pretty vivid. Big, big contrast versus the black and yellow. And these shoes, the first thing we can see is the Velcro straps. And you can see that in the midsole, there's one strap. And you can tighten, tighten them if you need to. And I think the, mid, the midsole straps is to strap the foot in place so you don't move side to side. Versus the upper strap. 
It's supposed to tie you down to the floor so your heel doesn't go up and down. And this strap goes pretty far, like almost reaches the other end of the foot. And I do think these are supposed to give you the best support and they're supposed to be more flat for you. You do see it looks like it's a little bit raised right here, but I think when you wear it, you it's a different feeling. And it's supposed to have this awesome technology right here to give you the dynamics and support and feel to drive the power and stability in your movements. Uh, the laces are, some people say they just leave them as they are. Especially when you unstrap these, you can unloosen it and tighten the laces as much as you need. And I wouldn't know until I try them on and lift them, but generally a firm or tight binding is optimal. And we can see with the build of these shoes, the Velcros actually come off pretty well. That right here, there are some mesh like on the back right here. This is mesh. Right here is mesh. And these little, I think they're for breathability. So basically when you're doing a lot of weight lift, heavy weightlifting, you're putting a lot of weights on, you're driving a lot of force, then they want to give you some airflow. And these are supposed to give you that. Versus the rest of the shoe is just synthetic and it's supposed to give you a very sturdy build. Now with this kind of shoe, I do hope they will optimize my lifting. Let's take a closer look at the shoe. As we can see, it's clear that there's a big plastic part right here. And it's supposed to hold the power ridges. That's what these things are in the middle. And it goes from all the way around from here to the other side. And it also holds together the outer sole. And the outer sole, as you can see, is actually very, very flat. I mean, in comparison, I have the fly knits here. And you can see on the outsole, they sort of go upward at the tip where your toes meet. But on these shoes, it seems like it's very horizontally flat throughout. And I could put this on the floor and show an example of that uh, just to see it visually. And the one thing we can see about these power ridges is that they clearly say it right here. And it'll say, Nike Power Ridge. I suppose these are supposed to give you the driving force, support, and comfort, especially when you're doing heavy weight lifting. And I've seen people do heavy weight lifting, let's say like four plates, or five plates, or three plates, or two plates, that you need some kind of support. And it looks like these are supposed to help you from the outer mid half to the heel of your toe. I mean, the heel of your feet. And Basically, the other note about this shoe is like the little prints like go forth and is what the Nike printed right here. And right here also says Nike Roma Leos 2 right on the tongue. And let's look inside the shoe. We take a look at both of them side by side. The big swoosh versus the small swoosh on the inside. There's also two small swooshes right in the front of the heel. And we'll start looking at the inside of these Romaleos. Especially since they gave us these extra foot cushions or paddings. And let's take out the fillers on these shoes. And we're going to look at the first padding that comes with the shoe. I don't suppose you put that one on top of the one that comes with it. So there is one that does come out pretty easily. And we can look at the inside of that. It's probably very bare. And it says Tex on Eco Souls 80. And I guess this is the company that makes it. And we look at the inside a little bit. The tongue is relatively thin and it's like the same kind of mesh material tongue that you have on other um shoes like even my running shoes like the fly knits right here and basically let's compare the cushions or pads the one that comes inside the shoe is actually very light simple foam and it's very simple I don't think it it has much of a dynamics or cushioning itself you can see this like 
probably two, three millimeters. Versus this one right here is a lot heavier. There's some uh, rubber plastic on the bottom. There's actually a curvature. You can see this curve right here. And I guess they will complement your foot. And it's supposed to be a contour thing most likely. Versus this one right here is just straight out more flat and not much of a support. And probably more bare on your foot and harder on your foot. But this one says weightlifting right here with the big swoosh sign right there. Uh, I want to see what's the difference between these. I will try these out. I'll probably make a video and comment on how they do and how I squat versus my front and back squat and how much more of a progress have I been getting on these shoes and if they're really um, a good investment in the long run. And I will be doing deadlifts on these shoes as well and probably any other kind of lifts that I feel like is appropriate. And I'll let you guys know. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I think these are very great shoes. A lot of people speak highly of them. I have friends that do a lot of weightlifting and they talk about the Adidas Addy Power, the Nike Roma Leos, and these seems like these are the ones that are more favorite. Oh, I do see the last thing here. It says, in the small prints, it says by Nike, go forth and, hope you can see that, go forth and dot dot dot. And it looks like on the other side, the inside of the heel, dot 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 dominate so it's supposed to say go forth and dominate I think that's a good way to motivate people into lifting basically you do want to dominate in your lifts and I hope these will give me the drive I need to improve I thank you guys for watching please stay tuned watch my other videos if you haven't there's a lot on the Nike fly knits which are actually Air Maxes, and I try to compare these with the Nike 2016 Air Max, which are not fly knits, and we'll see how these um, hold up. And thanks for watching again. Have a nice day. Here we have side by side the Nike Romeleos and the Nike Fly Knit Air Max. He's just looking at how flat the shoes are to the ground versus the fly knits the toes are a little bit higher up just to give a good sample look at how they compare and now i'll probably be trying on the nike roma leos to see how they feel on a first impression. What I have on right now are the Nike Elite High Intensity Over the Calf Socks. I do wear this also with the Nike Compression Tights on leg days. And basically, I think it's important to have the right attire, especially when you want to lift heavy and it's supposed to motivate you even if no one's looking, you're looking at yourself in the mirror. What these socks even tells you on the right side versus the left, and I do feel a lot of comfort and I do like the feel of how it's tight against my legs. And coming from a medical side, since I am a medical professional, compression socks are recommended for people, especially if they're increase, increased risk of clots. And just saying that having these kind of socks are just better in health wise. And right now I am only wearing the trying out the Romilios for the first time with the original cushioning that comes in the shoe. I already unloosened the top Velcro. I'm probably going to compare how much they weigh versus these Nike Fly Knits. These are premium running shoes. And it's pretty tight to get in. Tighten this part. Oops. Here we go. Lift this one up. And tie it down. So, these are pretty sturdy. I wouldn't say you have a lot of mobility, it's not like I'm going to be running in them. I mean the flexibility of these shoes are not there, but it's supposed to have the support it's supposed to give you. Let's dip in this one as well. So all around the shoe, even in the back right here, is actually very firm. There's not much room, so you have to have more of an inner space in the front to put in your foot. Let's tie this one up. 
people talk about sizes and I'm 10 and a half. I guess you can go down half a size. Someone said that before that they might be a little bit bigger for um, sizing. So with this shoe, I am comfortable with this one size, but I guess if I need to, I can go down, but I'm not. And I do want to tighten up the front a little bit more. That way I do feel like, yes, it does tightly bind the front of the shoe. I do feel that, especially when I use the Velcro. And I'll do that here too. So I like that a lot. Especially I did not get that in my cross training shoes from the Reebok Ziggs. And I also tighten the front too. So yeah, I do feel that it ties you more to the shoe, to the ground. All right. So again, like, you can hear these are sort of heavier, clunkier. I wouldn't say they're really heavy though. They're not like, like significantly way heavier than fly knits, but of course they're not lightweight running shoes. Okay, cool. So now I took out the original padding and put in the extra cushions that were provided by Nike. And when I unstrapped the shoe, it was pretty easy. You just have to unvelcro both of them and your foot actually comes out pretty easy. And I'm gonna put this one back in. Oh, and the first feel is like, yes, I do feel that my foot did, it complemented my foot because I did have a little arc, especially on the outer side right here. And I, I felt like that cushion did help me out. So let's tighten this one up. Where's this, and this one here. And then this shoe as well. So everyone talks about when you're squatting, you're supposed to be more flat to the ground. And these shoes are supposed to give me that comfort or feeling that I'm more centered and flat to the ground. So basically, I don't have any weights right now, but when I do a future video on squatting, maybe I will comment on that. But setting with my foot apart, about shoulders width apart, I do feel with this padded cushioning, it is a little bit better than this very thin cushion that was originally in the shoe. So I thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please stay tuned for more fitness videos in the future. And please let me know what you guys think. Thank you.